tonight. Next video we're gonna do is hang a shelf, okay? Teach you guys how to hang a shelf. I'm gonna teach you, uh, this is the same wall I've been using, just so you guys know. Not that you need to know, but now you know, okay? Same wall I've been using for my door, my header. Going green, trying not to waste crap stuff, okay? So I'm using the same exact wall. I added a couple studs on layout, 16 on center. This is the wall with my header, so I just filled them in, okay? So from that end of the wall, all these studs are 16 on center, except for the jack stud that was part of my door, but everything else 16 on center. Here's my drywall. I'm gonna teach you how to hang a shelf. Some people can hang a shelf, and some people can't hang a shelf. I'm gonna teach you how to hang a shelf the right way. Hopefully you'll catch a stud. I'll show you how to find a stud, or multiple studs to screw your shelf brackets to, okay? I'll also show you some anchors, a little anchor system that I have, okay, from work. We use a couple different kinds, the Finnish guys that, that work, for, work for the company I work for. Um, they use certain anchors when you can't hit a stud, or there's no blocking in the wall. I'll show you some of those, and then I'll show you how to find these studs, okay? I got a stud detector that we use at work sometimes to, to find stuff. I'll show you how to use that, and I'll show you how to find studs if you do not have a stud protector, or you don't have your wall ripped apart open like this so you can see the studs. I'll show you how to find a stud. Okay. Back. If you pull your tape and you have 16 on center, which I have, then good for you. Okay. But if you don't, what you can do is look at the bottom. The bottom row of nails, usually you're going to see two nails. Okay. Carpenter's going to nail two nails as they go down the wall. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. The first nail can be anywhere. Doesn't have to be on a layout. The second nail will be 16 on center because they want to catch these studs right here. This one, this one, this one, this one. They're going to want to catch those. So what you do is you look down there and you look really close, real close, and you try to see the nail, okay? Usually you'll see two. Don't worry about the bottom one, worry about the top one. If they're lined up and one's close to the top of the trim, so one's down the bottom and one's kind of high, that means it's probably in a stud. So from there, you'd be able to go 16 either way and find a couple studs. You could find one that way, you could find one this way. And that'll tell you where that stud is. You'll see those two nails. The higher one is probably where the stud is, okay? Next step, if you don't have a uh, stud detector, would be to take a level, okay? When you find out where that nail is, put the edge of your level right on that nail and then level straight up. Make sure the ball the bubble, I mean, is right in the middle. And if you're on, you'll line up right about the center of a stud, okay? Even though it's in the wall and you can't see it, you're gonna be pretty close, okay? Sometimes if the drywall, um, if the person didn't do a great job on mudding, you can actually see the screw heads, like barely see them, like a little tiny mark. Hopefully you can't, they did a good job, you won't see them. But sometimes you can, you can kind of feel where a stud is or see it, okay? And that's gonna tell you where there's a stud. And then from there, you should be able to pull 16 with your tape and you'll be in the center of another one, okay? Another telltale is a outlet box. An outlet box is gonna be nailed to the side of a stud, okay? So if you're in your living room, your bedroom, and you're gonna hang this shelf and you look down, okay? You look down and you see an old electric box, well, outlet you can plug your, your light into or your vacuum cleaner or whatever. You see that, there's gonna be a stud on either side of that. One, it's either going to be on that side or it's going to be on that side, okay? You kind of have to figure that out. You can pull the cover off and just look. Don't put your fingers in there, but pull the cover off and look. Or look at the floor next to the box, go down. Look for those nails that I said and go, oh, there's a nail right next to it. Okay, so the stud's probably on that side. And then you go from there. Level that up. Don't make a dark line. Make a little tiny mark so you don't have to repaint. And then from there, pull your tape. All right, so the other thing I was talking about, one of these things, we use these at work sometimes, okay? Zircon, okay? This is a stud detector. Nine volt battery, push the little button, put it on your wall, hold the button. Green light means it's ready, it's rolling, nothing's happening. But when I get to the edge of a stud, Red arrow, it even says edge right there. That means that's the edge of my stud. So from that mark, I can measure over an inch and a half and that would be the other side of the stud because the stud's an inch and a half, okay? So right there, baby. 
That's where one of my brackets could go, one of my shelf brackets. And then depending if it's a two foot shelf, a three foot shelf, two foot shelf is not gonna be on, uh, it's not gonna be on layout. Because 16 to 24 is not 16 on center. That's the only bummer, okay? But if you have a, you know, a 32 inch shelf or if you're cutting it yourself, you'll land right on the stud perfectly, okay? But you don't have to, you can make it a shelf any size you want. You just wanna make sure that your shelf brackets are underneath studs. I mean, are on studs, okay? You can overhang your shelf or whatever. But, good starting point, okay? Stud detector. Starts going, okay? Ooh. I'm looking for wood. I'm looking for a stud. Beep, 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 beep. Stud. There it is, baby. Pass over, go to the next one. Where's my next stud? If I don't have a tape or, or I have one of these bad boys. Bam! Things are awesome. Not that much. This one's like nine bucks, ten bucks, whatever. We use them at work sometimes to help out with some of the other trades, find locations when the drywall guys bury stuff. Once I find my stud and I like my location and I want to put my bracket in, okay, first thing I want to do is figure out what height I want. Obviously, this is super low, and I know I'm only 5'6", and I'm wearing flip-flops, but this is just a uh, demonstration today, okay? My shelf would probably be higher, but this is what my drywall is, this is what we're doing, all right? So, once I figure out where I want it, I will figure out my height, 5'6", 6'7", 8'', crunch, wherever you want it. <clears throat> today, we're just going to go with, I'm going to take a guess. Three feet, okay? So, I'll measure up three feet off the floor. Actually, we'll go, uh, we'll go 42. 42 inches, three foot, six inch. That's 42 inches, okay? So, I make a mark here, and I don't make a mark here. What I do is grab my level. Two foot level, four foot level. I grab my level, I level across. That way, I do not make two marks. Say my floor's out of level. I put my shelf on it, it's sitting like this. No good, okay? No good. So I'm gonna turn this camera a little tiny bit. Okay. Put my level on that mark. Uh-oh. Make sure the bubble is right in between the two lines on this bad boy, right there. Okay. I got a 32 inch shelf. That's what I'm gonna use first. You a 24, so I make a little tiny mark. Little tiny mark. I can make one in the middle. What I would do is I would make them really, 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 really light. If you don't want to have to repaint after, okay? Just make a little tiny mark. All right. All right. So what I did was I spared you me screwing these things in, okay? I use these white brackets that we use at work sometimes. You can get them at Home Depot. You can get real nice ones for more money. These are fairly cheap, but we use this for a lot of office stuff. I use black drywall screws, which are very ugly. But you can get chrome colored screws. You can get screws that look a lot, the dog's eating bees again. You can get chrome screws that look a lot nicer, or you can get the little white plastic tabs. You could put them right over these black screws and you'd never see them, okay? It would look finished and nice and pretty, okay? I didn't fill up all the holes. I just filled up two holes, but you get the gist, okay? What I did is I kneeled down. I actually took my level. I made a line across. I would make it really, really light if you're gonna do it on a finished wall. And then I lined up my bracket by eye, or you could use something like a torpedo level, they call it. it will help you get a nice straight line, so make sure you're level. I put both of these on, okay, I screwed them in. They're both level, all right? If you're not sure, if you're not sure and you don't have a great eye, they make a little tiny level, it's called a torpedo level. You could put it on the side of this, put it right on the side of the bracket, and that works the same way as a big level. And that'll tell you, push this thing back and forth to make sure that it's nice and straight and it hits the stud, okay? Right now I'm screwed into the stud. Top and bottom, top and bottom, okay? Now we put the shelf on. All right, da da da! Shelf's done. All right, so next part. I hit a stud with one. But my shelf, my shelf that I bought on my shelf that I have, all the space in the room, doesn't let me go all the way over to the next stud, okay? But I wanna put this thing right here. 
concerned about there, but the studs over here, okay? If you screw into drywall and you put something heavy on the shelf, it's gonna fall, okay? It will rip out of the wall, unless you use an anchor, okay? It's a bunch of different kind. This one here is called a zip it. It's a screw. You screw this into your drywall. You put your bracket on over it, okay? So first thing you do is put your bracket on right where you want it, make sure everything's good. Make a little pencil mark inside the hole. Screw this bracket in. It screws in with a screw gun or a screwdriver. I recommend screwdriver so you can go slow. If you use a screw gun, you might go and the thing doesn't hold, it strips it. You could screw that in, okay? Which would make this behind this, okay, in the wall. And then on the front side, they give you a screw with it and you screw that screw through the shelf bracket and it goes inside of this anchor, okay? When it goes inside of this anchor, that thing kind of spreads out a little bit, okay? And that's what holds your shelf up. If you're gonna put something heavy on it, this might not be the anchor. If it's light, like a couple picture frames or whatever hanging up, fine, knickknacks. But if it's something heavy, you want to put a bunch of books on this thing, this might not be the one. Anchor that I showed you guys. I got the anchor first, I got the shelf bracket. So I put those down. Pick my bracket up right where I want to be. Okay, eyeball this thing, which means look down here, make sure that it's on my line. Okay, hopefully you have a good eye. Figure out where I want to be, make sure it's nice and straight. Stick my pencil right in that hole where the screw goes. Make a little dimple, a little mark. Okay. Take my zip it with a screwdriver, not a screw gun like I'm gonna do. Unless you can go real slow and control yourself. Crazy pants. Put it in a hole. All you want to do is nice and slow get that thing sucked flush, which means flat. Okay? Then you take your bracket, you put your bracket up, actually, you say you screw up first. I miss my camera girl. Both of them. Put your bracket up, stick the screw in, screw right into that anchor. I'm only gonna do one for demonstration, but I have two more holes. I do, I do, I do one in all three holes. Okay. For now, that's pretty. It's pretty secure. Like I said, it's not gonna hold 100 pounds, but maybe 20 pounds. After that, with a crap load of books or whatever the heck you're gonna put on it, too much. All right. Next anchor looks like this. Kind of like a zip it. You screw it in same way. It goes right into the drywall. This screw goes right inside of that one. So you make your mark, put this in, screw it all the way flush to the drywall. So my hands are the drywall, flush. And then screw this through your bracket into that. And what happens is this thing screws in and there's a little, crap, there's a little bar in here. When you screw into it, it turns the bar and turns it sideways. So it sticks out the sides, kind of like this way, like a T. And then as you screw into it, it sucks this thing to the wall. It sucks it towards where you're screwing into, so going opposites. And now you have this T that's right up against the drywall flush. It, it can't come out. All right. Did the same thing. Took my bracket, put it on the thing, stuck my pencil in, made a mark. Took my anchor, put it on my screwdriver, on my screw gun. Screw it in nice and easy. Flush, okay? Take my bracket and my screw. It comes with a giant screw, okay? Get it ready to roll. Maybe not. Put my bracket on where I want it. Stick my screw in the hole. Screw this thing in. Pretty, that's pretty strong. I'd have to pull really hard to put a crap load of weight on that thing. Okay? Not to mention, I have one here, and I have one here if I have three of them. And however many brackets, I'll use them, I'll use them all if I'm not catching a stud. This one's on the stud, which is the best. This one's not. Okay? I'm gonna grab the camera, show you a close-up 
of inside the wall what it looks like because normally you won't be able to see it. All right, so there's my feet. Again, I love to do that, show you my feet. Here's my anchor on the front side of the wall. Here's what it looks like inside the wall. This is what happens. Here's the magic right here. See that? I pushed the screw in. It spun that thing. It pushed that little bracket sideways now. Watch this. Now, as I screw in, watch, watch this bad boy. <laughs> See that? Nice and tight. Tight to the wall, okay? That thing is going to hold a lot of weight. All right, I think it says 50 pounds. 50 to 100, somewhere in there. Okay, you got a couple of those bad boys. Spreading that out over that hole helps that out, okay? How to hang a shelf, Johnny Works. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Hit that little bell thing for the notifications if you do subscribe. Please subscribe. Can I see that? Stun detection.